In this video, we will go over 2019 October SAT exam, the math portion, uh, section 3, question 18. So in this uh, question, uh, it looks like a it looks like a little bit comp uh, it looks like a little bit complicated kind of question uh, because you see the square root you may not like to see a square root uh, but if you see this kind of question more often you would know that this is ultimately a quadratic kind of uh, uh, solving equation problem uh, and I'll show you how to do it so uh, the first thing is we really want to consolidate the uh, the x's together however uh, we have x right here and we have square root x right here and they are not like terms so as a result uh, you can't really combine them together so in order to do this we would have to uh, at some point do some squaring so that we can get the square root away but we are not going to do it at the very beginning because that will give us a lot of headache uh, and uh, and this is not something we would like to do so so instead what we would do is that uh, let's go ahead and isolate the square root h uh, screw it X on one side and let's move everything else to the other side okay so what we can do is to add the two square root X onto the right hand side so we will have X minus 3 it's equal to 2 square root X okay and this is now a good time that we do a square on both sides so that we can get rid of the square root so one thing that you have to be careful for is that as you do the square on the left uh, make sure that you do it properly okay so uh, a common mistake that students would make uh, when we do uh, this uh, squaring on the left hand side is that students would do something like this uh, they would do something like this or something like uh, this okay uh, or okay they do know how to square this but uh, but this is not correct and one way to prevent yourself committing this mistake is to understand that what is the meaning of square okay the meaning of square is to multiply itself twice right so uh, so these are not correct so uh, the better way to uh, think about this is x minus 3 times x minus 3 now a lot of students would know how to do this because they recognize that there are two parentheses and you would do foil and we are we actually would do just that so we will have x square minus 3x okay minus 3x and then plus 9 so that's our foil and, uh, and since we have two like terms here we can combine them together which would give us uh, x squared minus 6x plus 9 okay so this would be the basic level of uh, expanding a binomial now even better okay even better if I would recommend you to learn one thing here is to really know this okay to really know this expression which is a squared minus uh, a sorry my bad a minus b parentheses square and that's equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square so what you do here is to recognize that your a term is your x and the b term it's your th three so that you can simply just plug and chuck and you have a square which will become x square and then you have minus 2 times a times b which is 2 times x times 3 so that would give you 6x because 2 times 3 is 6 okay and then you have the x as the a term and then at the end the b is your 3 so 3 square is 9 so this is one uh, thing that I would encourage all viewers to uh, all students and viewers to uh, learn how to do so that you can uh, process this problem a lot faster so we'll go ahead and write this down on the left x squared minus 6x plus 9 on the left and on the right make sure that when you square you square both terms okay don't put your focus just on the uh, square root x you're going to square both terms that would result in 4x okay and then as we uh, go to uh, solve this equation we need to know that we have to uh, make one side equal to zero and to do that we'll subtract 4x on both sides 
So we will do x squared minus 10x uh, plus 9 equal to 0. And this is going to be a factorable uh, quadratic expression. So we have two parentheses. We have x times x so that we can have x squared. And then we think about, mm, okay, we have a minus here, we have a plus here. That indicates the sign in both parentheses would be minus, okay? That's how we have uh, the minus right here for the middle term, and then you have a positive number for the last term. So we think about mm, what get us 9, okay? So you have uh, two possible combinations, which is 1 and 9. <clears throat> excuse me, and then 3 times 3, okay? 1 times 9 is 9, uh, 3 times 3 is also 9. So which combination are we going to choose? Now, knowing that they are both minuses and they are going to uh, combine together, so we wonder which two numbers, the negative version of those two numbers, uh, would combine together to give us negative 10. And easily, you will select uh, this set of numbers, 1 and 9. So you have x minus 1 for the first parentheses and x minus 9 for the for the second parentheses. Now it doesn't matter if you uh, switch the order, okay, it's okay to write down uh, x minus 9 times parentheses uh, x minus 1. It's okay, no big deal. So, uh, uh, so you have actually two possible answers. You have x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 9. All right, so now just think about, hmm, so uh, do I put both or do I just pick either one? And this is the part where you have to be very careful, especially you deal with something like this. You have to think about, wait, do both work or just one of them works? And this is where you have to plug it back into the original equation and test it out. So we say, all right, let's go ahead and test out the one. Okay, so we'll put the one back in. Okay, and then let's see if it's equal to zero. Let's see if it's true. Okay, so you have one minus, well, square root one is one. So two times one is two minus three, and at a glance, you would know that it would give us a negative answer. Uh, that would give us a negative four on the left and zero on the right, and that it's not okay, and this is not the correct answer. So, uh, so one way we will fix this is to, uh, well, try the other one, okay? Let's try uh, the nine. So nine minus two times square root of uh, nine, minus three equals to zero. So nine minus two times square root nine, which is the same thing as two times three, which is six minus three. And you will see that this is uh, negative nine. So nine minus nine is zero. So this is true. So we will put in our answer as nine right here. And, uh, and we will bubble in our answer nine right here. So this will be our answer. Okay, so uh, just to keep in mind that whenever you see a square root that gives you a, uh, a flag, okay, or little hint that at some point you might want to consider uh, using square to get rid of the square root x, uh, let's get rid of the square root of the square root x. And to do that, you want to isolate the square on one side and then you do the square. Uh, so you need to do more of these kind of problems so that you would know that this kind of format would lead you to a quadratic kind of uh, equation so that you can solve it by factoring, okay? And after that, be very, very careful that you would have to test out the answer so that you know that, A, uh, x equals to 1 cannot be the answer. So uh, so this would also give you a little uh, a little hint to, uh, to fix uh, the uh, the situation where you have two possible answers are they both answers or just one of them being the answer okay all right uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you like this video please uh, like and subscribe uh, and we have a little playlist right here for all the 2019 October uh, questions uh, well not all of them but uh, selective uh, selective ones uh, so uh, if you can if you find this video helpful, Great, and uh, I hope uh, you will continue to watch my videos. Thank you for watching.